All right, welcome back everyone. Um, you should have finished Mr. G's um, video on quick drawing or quick figure drawing. And so I wanted to expand and give you another tool for your toolkit on drawing the human body that you can use when working through this course. So Mr. G started with essentially this like wire stick figure frame where we're looking at how the human body here is roughly seven heads tall. Again, this might be a little bit different based off of your individual proportions, but most human bodies are going to be about that size with the hips falling in the midpoint there and using that head as our measuring tool down. So as we saw, we started with just kind of a stick figure body and then built those joints out looking at where everything was falling. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend you go start there and then come back here. Um, I'm going to show you another technique that we can use to um, draw proportionally accurate or realistic or at least get us in the ballpark of producing some drawings of, of the human body um, if this starts off feeling a little too complicated. So again, our goal is going to be moving into character design and so the more we can be drawing, the more we can be producing, the better off you're going to be. So. We're looking at this, we're going to call this our, our like stick figure form. And so this is how we're starting is just kind of using that stick figure. And he's got a little bit of a glare there. Let me see if I can, nope, that makes that worse. All right, well, we'll just make do with what we have. Um, this is our stick figure form. And the one I'm going to show you over here is going to be what we are going to call our beam form or our beam figure. So if we're looking at drawing the human form, one thing we could do is we could start with kind of this like, this beam shape. And then really simply put, if we threw some legs and some arms onto that beam, all of a sudden we get something that starts looking like a person. And so if you want, you can start with this bean shape. I still want to make sure that we are shooting for accurate proportions. So if you're starting with the bean, take a kind of measure and start thinking through where those different body parts are. Um, seven heads tall, so we're looking at one, two kind of being across the chest there, or actually across the yeah, center of the chest. Um, three heads down is roughly where the belly button is. Four heads down is generally where our crotch. So this bean is falling into a, uh, really accurate proportions for the human body. So one thing we will need to do as we build this up is we're going to need to make these legs longer. If we think from four, five heads down, we're hitting in the mid thigh, and so our knees are going to fall beneath that. And then we're going to come down. This leg's probably about the right size. This leg we're going to pull down a little bit further. Our arms are going to be a little bit longer, thinking of our kind of the, the rib cage inside here. Our elbows generally fall about where that rib cage is, or our elbows fall in line with the belly buttons. And then we've got our wrist. We can create something like a hand because our hands are going to fall uh, mid thigh there. And so all I'm doing is I'm starting with that like basic bean form, and then I'm building this up and looking at creating something a little bit more realistic, something a little bit more lifelike off of that beam. So as we look, we can come in, we can give this person something along the lines of a face, thinking through some of those proportions that we talked about the other day, thinking through our facial proportions. We're working lightly, so that way we have freedom to clean up, freedom to erase freedom to kind of redesign what's going on there. Um, maybe this person is going to be a nice little like bearded person bending over to pet a dog. And so we can start adding some of those details as we create our characters. And again, looking at character design, we want to be drawing these figures. We want to be drawing bodies as much as we can. So with this nice curve to the beam, maybe we've got like uh, little like dog or a cat down here that this person's bending down to pet. Again, simply, simple forms, simple shapes, 
are going to be helping you out those. So maybe that beam person's not how you want to do it. Maybe you want to start with that stick figure. I do want you to play with drawing the human body in a couple different ways. And again, the more you draw, the better you're going to get. And so you can create this beam shape. If we're looking straight on that figure, you can create that, throw a head on top of that. And we're going to look at body types. Um, I'm going to post a, a link here as well on some different body forms in the next couple weeks. And so we're going to develop this process. So we've got the stick figure form and we've got the beam form for ways we can begin drawing human bodies. Your assignment this week is going to be to draw three proportionally accurate bodies and then come in and add details and clothing to at least one of those. If you have questions, come see Open Studios. Otherwise, happy drawing.